Happy holidays. Luke here from QC3D. Um, for those that are on the Facebook forums and uh, they see the all the folks on there say I can't get my filament to stick. I'm going to do this uh, video again here. I've done this on Facebook before. Um, I've got glass beds. These things are horrible for getting filament to stick, but I make it happen. So we're just about ready to start a print here. What I want to show you is that while this is getting ready to start, I'm going to go to Tune, scroll down to Baby Z. We can adjust the Z axis up and down in the beginning of the print here. So we're going to lay this initial layer here. This one's kind of tough to get an um, indication of how high or low it is. But when my print starts here, I can adjust up or down the Z axis. So I'm going to watch my first layers go down here. I always do a brim and as we can see it's not working. It is actually too close to the bed so I'm going to raise this a little bit. And as I raised it, it is now starting to lay correctly. So this has a brim. The brim is going to be a, a couple laps around um, the outside of my print area to kind of help hold it to the bed. Uh, the brim is helps me with these glass beds um, but the whole concept of the the baby step of the z-axis uh, is to help you get this dialed in before it prints. I've never had a, a print sticking issue. I don't use any glues. I have no glues here. I've got uh, a couple glass beds, a couple of these uh, PEI sheets um, I've tried tape on a certain print, that was horrible, I'm not using that again, but I have a duster, <laughs> that's just to clean uh, debris out of the, the printer. Um, I've got alcohol wipes that I clean the beds off after a few uh, prints, but the Baby Z is what you kind of need to adjust. Um, so typically when it's not sticking, that may mean that your Z axis is a little too high. You've leveled, you've leveled, you've leveled, but it's still too high. Well. I guess your paper is just too thick. Um, always remember to level your bed with the, the plate heated. And I always heat the nozzle too, just so that any plastic that may be sticking out of that nozzle uh, is melted away when I do my, uh, my height on there. So I'm doing this, um, this brim here, and it's, uh, it's going to do quite a few laps before it starts. But I can dial in here uh, exactly what I want. Um, so right now I'm... 2 millimeters um, or 0.2 millimeters up this baby Z steps a 0.1 millimeter at a time uh, I can move this up or down during this process here or throughout the print so um, it's great do it on the fly this is what's going to get your filament to stick when those folks on Facebook say level your bed that's rarely it <laughs> I trust that you've leveled your bed over and over and over again correctly um, do the baby Z step. I mean, this is something that I see so many answers um, that are horrible on these forums online. Uh, I see folks say, hey, it's your filament sucks. You know, there's moisture in your filament. I see folks that say that it's too fast, it's too slow, it's too hot, it's too cold. Um, yeah, I mean, just changes to what works. So, uh, this is quite a big brim here. Um, these glass beds they are not great for sticking. Uh, if you've gone your, you've got your uh, Ender 3 Pro or your Creality and it came with one of the um, these magnetic sheets here, um, those are great. Those are great for sticking. Uh, these are not, but I've never needed glue. Uh, I just dial in until it sticks. Um, that's really it for me. <laughs> so I wanted to show that video. I don't know if I can get my kind of print head here. We'll try. starting to actually print the item now. And this is a very detailed on the bottom layer. I want to make sure this all sticks. So that's my uh, Baby Step Z video and how to get your filament to stick. Thanks for watching.